Okay, guys, <clears throat> we had a bit of a mishap with our last bath, our crazy karma bath. Uh, unfortunately, uh, shit happens, and bug boo-booed in the tub. So the tub had to be drained out, and guess what? We will need to put on another bomb. This is the wild, what does it say? Wild, wild flower from Moon's Harvest with cocoa bath melt. The whole top is the bath melty part. And the rest is the big giant bomb. The wild, wild flower. So, let's go ahead and pop him in and see what he does. So we have to drain down the damn tub, clean it all out. Oh, shit, it sunk. It sank. I don't like the ones that sink. I've not been having luck with Moon's Harvest lately. There you go. My bomb teeny sank. This bad boy sank. Let me grab it. <laughs> That's pretty much what you should be seeing. I hate when they sink like that, because then you don't get that prettiness. Look how pretty. Doesn't that look so beautiful? You can see all the glitters coming off it. The scent on this is amazing. Um, it's slightly musky. Like a, maybe like a vanilla -y musk, but mainly florally. It's real, real pretty. I really, this is like my favorite scent. And look, you can see all the glitters coming off it. See all that shimmy glitter? And then of course you have your melt on the top. A uh, little, little tweet that it is sinking on me. Yeah, no matter what I do, it's falling. Damn it. All right. All right, it's starting to float up a little bit. All right, I'm just going to be real gentle and pull my hand away. See if it stays up. Okay, it's staying up. We got it, guys. We got it staying up. And what is it doing? It's hugging a freaking wall. <laughs> I can't win. Um, yeah, I have been having a bit of a, a hard time with the Moon's Harvest bombs lately. Uh, my bomb teeny just completely shut the bed. This one sank in the beginning, and I had to hold him up to get some sort of a show. Now he's... Now he's doing pretty good, so not so bad. Um, I guess it could probably be either one because all of this ordering mainly went through uh, during the summer months and it, we are now starting to go into fall. And the humidity is a big factor when you're making bath bombs and shipping bath bombs and things like that. Oh, look how pretty it's doing. All right, yay! But uh, I have learned through other vendors, through Tammy from Atomic Bomb, that humidity is a big killer of bath bombs, and if there is even a drop of it, it can really affect the product. So I did take the chance, and I did order Moon's Harvest. I think this was like my third order that I did with them or something like that. Um, I do enjoy Moon's Harvest, and yes, they are linked down below in the Wall of the Greats. Um, their bubble bars have gotten better. A long, 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 long time ago, I did try one of the bubble bars, and it wasn't all that great, and then I ordered... My own stuff from there, and I didn't even realize that that's where it was. A friend had told me, yeah, you remember that bubble bar that I gave you? <laughs> well, that when you first started hunting this stuff down, that was from Moon's Harvest. Um, I just started redoing their bubble bars now, and yeah, they're really nice now. So whatever formula she's using now is amazing. Uh, they do crumble now like a lush like a lush one now. So it's like real, they break down real fine and real nice, and I don't have big chunks of shit in the water, and they're not play doughy. So I am starting to enjoy the Moon's Harvest more and more. Um, I cannot wait to get the Halloween stuff. Uh, not too much on the halloween -y stuff there. Just, you know, wanted to try a few things. Uh, I love bath melts, but I'm not too keen on too many bath melts due to the simple fact is that I like bubbles. And when you add a bath melt... Ah, when you add a... Look how cute that looks. The flower's still on top of it. When you add a bath melt in with anything that's going to make bubbles or anything like that, it will die down those bubbles and kill them because, you know, it's oils, it's melts, it's butters. So you are definitely going to lose the bubble, uh, the bubble, you know, full aspect of it. But I am really loving the scent of this one. This is what, is that what it's called? Wild Wild Flower. Yeah, the sticker's right next to me. Wild Wild Flower. And I was so upset that I did a massive karma bath, and I got really, really into it, and really enjoyed the scent of it, and Boogie boo-booed in it. 
So <laughs> we had to get Boogie out. I had to freaking get the Clorox stuff and start wiping everything and cleaning everything up. And it was just, man, I lost my nice karma stuff. Right down the freaking drain. But, you know, <laughs> what's they like the saying, shit happens. When you gotta go, you gotta go. And unfortunately, I didn't know Boogie had to go. It was the last minute I found out Boogie had to go. <laughs> Woohoo! I like Sundays, man. Sundays, Sundays, Sundays. Sundays is where I can get some nice relaxation time. And Richie takes Boog after we wash him and everything. And he puts him inside with his TV and his cartoons and hangs out with him. And I get to have a little relaxation time all by myself in the middle of the day. Instead of staying up really, really late at night when the two of them go to sleep and trying to have some mommy time then, I got it now. Okay, well, right here we have what's left is our melt, which is melting down really nicely. And her melts are not like a mushy, slimy melt. It's like gritty, like it has like some like bomb stuff in it or something, whatever you want to call it. We still have a teeny bit of bomb going off. Come back! But look at the water, man! Holy cow! All that foam and stuff on top, look at all that water, it's so blue! Holy cow, I see very little shimmer in here, but I do see a little bit. And I know it's not shimmer from the last ones because I had to Clorox the tub. But I do see a teeny bits of shimmer. Pretty little shimmers. Mainly on the foam on the top. Um, let's flick it on and see if we get any kind of bubbles. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. It depends on how much like SLSA they put in it. Or SLS, whatever you want to call it. Sorrel, sorrel, roll, roll, sulfate. I don't know how to say it. You guys know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, no, no bubbles. So since we have no bubbles, we need some bubbles. Let's throw in a pop in the bath. I like pop in the bath. Pop in the bath is a Lush product, and it is um, what is it called? The olive branch scent, uh, which I really thought it was. What do you call it? Uh, sex bomb scent. Because to me, that's what it smells like. To me, it does smell like sex bomb. Now, mind you, I put a melt in here. I put a, a very moisturizing bath bomb. We're not going to get a massive array of bubbles, but we are going to break this bad boy down the best I can. <laughs> okay. We're going to break this bad boy down, and we are going to swish, 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 and build up some bubbles. It's really hard to do a bubble bar one-handed, so I'm trying to smush it all together and then let it slowly break down so it all breaks up. Um, these ones that I got from Pop in the Bath were a little dense. And a little weird. I got one that was really, really thick, which was this one. And the rest of them were really paper thin. So I was like, what the hell? <laughs> and then the one, as soon as I took it out and laid it down, guess what? Crumbled. All right, let me shut this off. Ow. Okay. And let's just see if we can get anything going. Because this bath melt is making this water really, really, really thick. Hang on a second. Let me use my right hand. Let me pause for a hot second. Okay, so we got a nice layer going here. All I did was a little bit of that. It's much easier to do it with my right hand because I am right-handed than it is to do it with the left hand and trying to hold the camera with the right hand. So, But we still have our beautiful water. The scent was not changed that much because the moon tarp has pretty much engulfed the scent of my lush pop in the bath. <laughs> But that's a good thing, because that means Moon's Harvest has a really nice bomb. Um, everybody's linked down below, including the Lush Kitchen. And if by any chance you want to navigate onto the regular Lush site, which is would, would be for U.S. or Canada, they give you that option that you can pick any country you're in, and you can shop online anywhere, whoever delivers to you, wherever, you know. But Lush does have that option. But I have the Lush Kitchen linked down below. Um, for those of you who are new to Lush, like I was... If you're planning on ordering from the Lush Kitchen, your best bet is to pay attention to the Lush Kitchen menu. The Lush Kitchen is not an all-year-round thing. Well, the items aren't. Let me rephrase that. Okay, let's, let's put it the better way. For those of you who are new, like everybody was asking me on Instagram and everywhere else and on here, where did I get the Twilight Shower Jelly? Well, see, that was a Lush Kitchen menu item. Um, I put up the menu every week on Fridays. I think I missed once and put it on Saturday. I, I wasn't feeling good. 
Um, but on that, that kitchen menu is only for that particular week. When those items sell out, they're gone. So with the Twilight Shower Jellies, they went on at 3 a.m. By 3 a.m. New York, New York time. For people who are in UK, I believe it's like 8 a.m. For people who are in other countries, you calculate it. <laughs> I gave you two countries, you go for the rest. I gave you, you know, my side of America and the UK. Um, when you order, you have to definitely jump on and grab that item you want and order right away. They do not last in that kitchen at all. Twilight went up at 3 a.m. By 3.01, they were completely sold out. Uh, Twilight Shower Gel, which would be the top one, was up for about a good hour. I guess because everybody was more interested in the jellies. Because they're beautiful, and it was the first time that Lush had made uh, shower jellies in those particular scents. Now, if you go on the kitchen right now, uh, the Comforter Shower Jelly and Tramp Shower Jelly are still available. You can jump on and order those two. Amongst others, I, other items, they still have Yummy 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 still available, which is that last shower gel down there. And uh, a couple other items still available. And the upcoming new week, I had just put up Friday. So if you want to start using the Lush Kitchen menu and you're new to it, you have to get the menu every week or go on Mondays. Now, if you're in New York time, where I am, sorry, it would be 3 a.m., jump on the website and see what they post in the Lush Kitchen for 3 a.m. And you'll see, you know, a couple products. Every day of that week, one to two products will pop up. If you really want them, order them right away. They're not going to be there for long. Just like with some of their t-shirts and things like that. If you see something you want, grab it. Uh, shipping can be rather expensive. You can do a non-tracking shipping. You can do a tracking shipping. Non-tracking shipping is much cheaper. The uh, tracking shipping, though, is about... Uh, $26, $27, depending on your weight. As you order more, your shipping obviously goes up. So be very careful. And as you translate from using U.S. to pounds when it comes to our money, uh, I believe right now the U.K. for every dollar for us is $1.33 for them. So I'm not too, too positive. Don't hold me to it, but you can always look it up on Google how to transfer money from the U.S. dollar to the UK pound, UK British pound, or however it is. It says it right on it. That's how I, that's how I calculate what I'm spending. Go ahead, babe. What's the problem? Nothing? You, know, you were saying something about the mail. Um, every time that we ship out, um, whether it's $7 that we pay because of the weight or $20 in the package. Talk about UK kitchen, though, from the UK. Oh, you said shipping. Oh, but I was going to say you always get a $50 insurance on the box. They always give it to you. No, no, we're talking about the kitchen right now. We're not talking about regular mail. Oh. Um... Yeah, me and Richie, every time we ship out to you guys, we insure and get tracking for everything. So if you ever win something, and say you want to know when your package is coming, you want a tracking number, hit me up. And I will very gladly give you your tracking number, because I do put everything on tracking, and I do pay the insurance on everything I send out to you guys during giveaways. Uh, back to the UK kitchen, though, because I've gotten so many messages of people that don't understand where some of these products came from, and they can't find them on any of these websites. It is because of the Lush Kitchen. Um, I very much enjoy the Lush Kitchen. I spend a lot of money there. And unfortunately, those items do not stay in stock all year round. Hey, there's a piece of bubble bar over here. <laughs> uh, hang on one second. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk with Richie for a little bit, and I'm going to enjoy my bath. Uh, once again, the Moon's Harvest link is down below. Lush's link down below. Everybody's link down below. So hit that button. All of my social media and my actual information is all down there. My email address, an address where you can send snail mail, which is regular mail too, and everything else. And no, please do not do not get alarmed. Everybody gets alarmed. I do not have a P.O. box right now because I would prefer to spend the $60 to $80 a month on bath bombs more than I would want to pay for a P.O. box. So we just use a business address where uh, Richie gets some business mail sent to, and that's the address that I list for use. It's not my home address, and it is uh, pretty far from it. So <laughs> I love you all. I will talk to you again very shortly, and uh, please enjoy your Sunday. And that's about it. I'll see you later, guys.